everyone and welcome back to another Simply Dark episode. Today we are going to be talking about the legend of the Bell Witch and the physical activity centered around the Bell's family. More specifically, the youngest daughter Betsy and her father. This spirit name was Kate and Kate was really angry when Betsy became engaged. The hunting began around 1817 when John Bell witnessed the appearance of a very strange creature that almost resembled a dog, but it wasn't definitely a dog. Bell was so scared that he fired at the dog, but the only thing that happened was that it disappeared. And things like this kept happening and happening. For example, their son, that was called Drew, he also talked about seeing some kind of bird that was huge staring at him while it was on top of their fence. Betty also said seeing a girl in a green dress on top of a tree branch to later on disappear in front of her eyes. And this kind of activity only grew over time. The family heard sounds of gnawing on the beds, invisible dogs fighting, and the sound of chains on the floor. At about this time, John began to experience paralysis in his mouth. Shit started being pulled off beds and soon the entity started pulling the kids hair and scratching them. Betsy was the one that had it worse. She would be slapped, pinched and even stuck with pins. And this is when the Bells turned to a family friend for help. And while spending the night at the Bells' home, the friend started to experience the same things as the family. Soon, word of the hunting started to spread and many would come to see the witch. Soon after that, the apparition started to talk louder and louder and that's when the family started to ask who are you and what do you want which she replied i am a spirit i was once very happy but i have been disturbed the spirit offered diverse explanations on why she was there but all came to the disturbance of a native american burial ground which was located on the property many many years ago at times the spirit would display some form of kindness especially towards lucy john's wife and she would say that lucy was the most perfect woman to talk on earth. The witch would even give Lucy fresh fruit. But you see, John Bell Jr. wasn't that lucky, as she said many times that her intention was to kill him. Now the story gets more intense when John is killed by poison, with the spirit saying that she was the one that poisoned John. Now soon after that, Betsy called off the engagement, which made the spirit quite happy and she even ended up saying that she was leaving the house. She ended up coming back seven years later and she started doing all the things that she did before. But what Betsy decided was not to give it importance, so she would not get scared, she would not talk to it, Basically, she would ignore it as much as she could, which apparently made the ghost live just like that. The spirit never came back and the family was able to live a peaceful life. Now, a lot of people say that this was very, very weird and that a spirit wouldn't live that easily, but the fact is that it actually did. Now, what's remarkable about this story is there are so many witnesses to the powers of this witch. Like I said previously, there were many people that traveled far, far away to see the witch. They obviously 
didn't actually see it, but they encountered a lot of strange things while they were near the property. The spirit even frightened away military men that went to the house to investigate what, what was going on. So when men that been to war before are scared away from what was happening in that house, imagine how normal people would be experience that kind of stuff. These men were very credible and that's why a lot of people think and believe this story to be true. This is one of the most well-known legends that happened in Tennessee in the United States and it is told from generation to generation keeping the myth alive for all these years. There were also a lot of books and movies inspired by this story as this is such an intriguing story and one that makes so many people wonder. Now, this is the end to this episode. Obviously, this episode was a very summarized version of this story, but nevertheless, I hope you found it interesting and you enjoyed watching. And please feel free to leave comments down below telling me what you think about this story or if you have any other stories that you would like to share or that you would like me to talk about in a future episode. I really love to read your comments and I try to reply to as many as I can. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If yes, please don't forget to give me a like. It really helps my videos to get out there. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys and I will see you in my next episode.